Right, so let's take the poly off first. And it's got a grub screw in it, which is great. So it shouldn't be press fitted on, but knowing my luck, it probably is. So I'm just going to get my tyre lever. I won't push too hard on the casing and just see. Yeah, no, nah, that's not going to budge. So I'm going to have to put a puller on that. And we're away. Beautiful. Got that off. Let's take the key off. Key off. Okay, we'll take the fan housing off now at the back. Okay, the uh, fan is in good nick. Um, looks like it's got a 10 mil bolt in it. Now it's only a plastic fan, so I've got to be careful not to damage it. It's going to be a little bit hard to get it off. And I'll uh, just grab two tyre levers just so I can keep equal pressure and it's off. There we have it. So the got that plastic fan off and it's only got a I think it's a plastic hub, I think it's magnetic at all. Actually I stand corrected. Uh, at first glance I thought that was plastic, but uh no, it's metal. So there you go. I thought it was a plastic fan. Yeah, as you get older, eh, your eyes aren't that good. So fan is off, out of the way, I'll put him over the side here. All right, so I'll turn that free phase off. Uh, the reason I had the rotary phase running was because I had to grind my new pulley set that uh, the yeah, bearing extraction set I bought that I showed you in a couple of previous videos. Um, I had to grind that off to get it in behind the pulley. All right. Okay, so let's undo these bolts here. And before I get too clever, I think I'm gonna get a center punch and just mark this. I'm just gonna pop this one and one. On the back will be two. And that way then I know it's gonna go back in the correct order. Now it's testing out my brain. Let me tell you, now I've, uh, Theoretically, haven't done one of these sort of repairs for probably 20 years, to be honest with you, when I was back in the trade, before I became a school teacher. Uh, that's when I used to work for a living. <laughs> Here's the sad joke. All right, now before I get too carried away, I'm just gonna clean up the front of that shaft. There's a fair bit of um, muck and crap on that. Got us some thinners on a rag and just gently give that a, a good rub down and clean before I get too carried away. Get some of that yuck off. I'm sort of glad I left that carriage on. It's uh, really made for a, a handy work platform, that's for sure. All right, a little bit of a tappy and no go. So let's just put a little bit of a tire lever on that. Yep, I think it wants to come, so does Christmas. And I'll be, I would say it's grabbing on the bearing housing on the inner, on the outer race internally. I've been prying on the front of the housing here but what I reckon it's doing, it's actually extracting the rear bearing out of the housing, not the front. And there we have it. If I gently pull the stator out. 
Oh, it's the front bearing, as I, as I guesstimated. Have a listen to this. Okay, now let's have a look at the rear bearing. Rear bearing's not that bad, still has grease in it. Alrighty, so I'm gonna get these bearings off, um, run down to the bearing shop, grab some belts, grab some bearings, and come back and reassemble this. Uh, I'm back in the workshop. I've been down to a company in Australia here called, or in Melbourne, called Bearing Wholesalers. And all up for two bearings, two brand new belts, uh, some brake clean, and some WD 40 or CRC, whatever you want to call it. Uh, $67, okay, Australian dollars. Now, I'm a little bit disappointed. I'll mate down at the bearing shop. I, I asked for match belts. Um, of course, they don't stock match belts. I said, okay, well, just get me two standard A39 belts. And uh, anyway, he came up with two different brands. I said, mate, seriously, I said, I know you don't have match belts, but at least give me two of the same brand. He goes, oh, I don't have that. That's the only two in stock I had. I said, all right, well, as long as I can bring it back if I'm not happy with it. Because usually when you don't run match belts, guys, and you're running two belts on the same sort of pulley system, uh, one's going to be in more tension than the other, and it, it's just a trap for young players, all right? So we'll see how we go with that. Um, anyway, you know, the old saying, beggars can't be choosers. All right, so what I'll do now, I'll grab some a rag, and I'll clean up that shaft and oil it up. So what I'll do first, I'll probably install the rear bearing, and then slip that into the housing. I'll oil up the shaft and everything, and then put the front bearing on. I'm going to use a tube socket and just lightly tap that on. I've got a bit of aluminium down here, the vise is tight. I'm just going to tap that gently to get that bearing on. And I've oiled up that shaft as well. And what I'm listening to, you'll hear the, the ringing change when it, when it seats. And you can hear a solid thud now. So I know that bearing is home. And you can see I didn't flog the shit out of that and I tapped it down on the inner race using a tube socket. Never hit a bearing on the outer race as you know. Right, I'm not here to teach you how to suck eggs but most of you guys know that. Right, now I don't have a tube socket for the other end. So I'll just have to tap this on gently. I like to put a fair bit of oil on the shaft. So the reason I do this is so the bearing doesn't grab on the steel and you know rip and tear the shit out of it. It's a nice hot day here in Melbourne today. It's roughly about 30 degrees Celsius, so the oil's not that thick. We really got that started, so. Slightly tap that on. Just gotta make sure that I'm hitting the inner race. going on it's nearly home actually so that's good I'm nearly there so listening listening for that change in the ring and that's home solid now okay so both bearings are in place I haven't damaged the shaft or anything so that's good 
and away we go. Careful we don't damage the, the windings. I should be able to gently Home. All right, beautiful. So now I can put in the front cover. It's going to lube up that bearing there. A little bit of a spring washer in here to keep some that end float down, minimal. Line that up, line our dots up. All right. Now I'm just going to start the bolts here, just to hold it so I know I'm going straight. All right. So I'm spinning that now guys, I don't know if you can hear that, it's whisper quiet and that's what we want. I can't feel anything dragging in there and no end float so we can start assembling that now and putting the pulley back on and the fan and everything like that. Alright, that's back on. I'll tighten that up. And of course I won't do it up to 400 foot pound. It's stinking hot in here today, ladies and gentlemen, I tell you. I've got the sweat, uh, I'm leaking like you wouldn't believe. Right, I've got all those screws in now, I'll just tighten them up. Way back on. Just checking here, I can see I should have marked the front and rear of the pulley. Doesn't really matter, but I can see it here that uh, there's the un unused part of the shaft or unworn part of the shaft, sorry. looking for 14 mil so another four millimeters to go I think I'll leave well enough alone right eh? I'll tighten up that grub screw and let's put it back in the machine I got it all back together I've got the motor in there I couldn't get any footage of me actually uh, installing the motor it was just too hard to get around the back here and film and I really couldn't be bothered moving this mill out on my own and trying to get it back in here again okay so but anyway, look, it's in. Um, I'll flick some footage up here now while I'm talking. Uh, as you can see, the, the two belts fit in there. However, uh, one is slightly tighter than the other, and, and I knew that was going to happen because they're not matched. They're not a match set, and they're not even the same brand. Right, so let's turn it on. Let's see if we can see a change in noise. be able to pick up the sound on my lapel microphone here of the horizontal spindle running and it's a may I say it's a big improvement on what it was if we look at the DBA meter we're roughly bouncing around uh, 78 79 DB you know I must say it sounds a lot happier To give you an idea of sound in my workshop, um, I do have another video on my other channel if you're interested in watching that. I'll put the card up here now. But if we just stand here idle, and I've got the roller door open, but I've got the rotary phase converter running. We're at 57, 58 dB. All right. That concludes today's video, and uh, wishing you all a very, very Merry Christmas from my family to yours. Stay safe. Look after yourselves and uh, I'll catch you on the next Aaron Engineering video. See you later. Bye-bye. And to think my darling wife yelled at me for buying this bearing extraction set. See love, I told you I'd need it.